Well, after the icy weather of last week, you might really be thinking spring, getting ready for the spring season. But just because it's winter, it doesn't mean that you can't have some color in your lawn or garden. So we're joined by Charles Lampkin from Pike Nurseries this morning with a great project to kind of carry us through until we officially get to spring. Good morning, Charles. Good morning, Joanne. Thank you. For, right. Thank you very much. Yeah. So what are some things that we can be doing right now to uh, kind of add some color to our garden? Let's quickly go over maybe some removal, some winter weeds that have that have grown over some of your bedding areas. Mm -hmm. Personally, I like a mechanical removal, and I'd be removing it by hands, no chemicals needed. Mm -hmm. um, basically, just coming with either a hoe or some sort of trowel and just physically removing the weeds. Because if, if you are using chemicals, you're going to have to wait before you can plant, that right? Is, so definitely read instructions. Most herbicides are going to make you wait only about three to seven days. Okay. So just read the label and make sure you're not planting uh, earlier than that. Okay, but if you do it that way, you don't have you're to wait. You're safe. It's a little bit of exercise, too. All right. That's good for you and, and, and the ground. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so what are some of the things that we can be planting now? Right now, we're still in our pansy and, and, and winter, really winter annual and perennials. Mm -hmm. If we did get a little bit of ice and a little bit of damage, luckily pansies are mustards and some of your evergreen perennials are, are definitely a good thing to plant right now. Okay. And when you are planting, definitely think about your light requirements and, and what you're getting in and what kind of light you're, you're going to have this season. Obviously the sun in the winter is a little bit lower. You might be getting a little less light, but luckily most of these guys are, are pretty hardy with full to partial sun as well. And think about your size limitations too. Don't plant anything that in a two-foot space that's going to get any larger than two feet. Really play around with that and plant a lot of smaller stuff so you can have a lot more variety and color in your in your area. Okay, and so once you have determined the light that you have and the space that you have, where do you need to take it from there? From there, it's more of a creative eye. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no there's no wrong way to plant anything or mm -hmm. wrong combination, whatever you would like, but you would like to have some staggering of heights, some, some color differentiations that really play off one of another. So we have the, the purples, the lime greens, and whites that really showcase and bring out the colors of all right here. Smaller pansies in front, some ornamental vegetables in the, in the middle, and then some taller perennials in the back. Okay. That you're not going to have to change out, but never really. Right. Only your annuals up front you're going to have to change out maybe twice, three times a year. Okay, that's so, excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, we keep getting teased with warm weather. We do. People are eager to get out and get planting, and this is a great way to kind of bridge the gap. And it, they can handle some warm weather. They can handle the cold right now. This is what you want to stick with. All right. Great timing for it. Thank you, Charles. Thank you. Time is 940.